the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants what must soon take place. Revelation is the only book in the Bible where there is an outright guarantee of blessing just for reading it. And so it was with this kind of inspiration that I memorized uh, the entire book of Revelation. They fell down on their faces before the throne and worshiped God, saying, Amen. So I earnestly prayed, asking the Lord for a composer to write an original score specifically for my delivery. It was the same week when I received a phone call from Michael Harriton, a man whom I had never met, but who had heard me at a recent conference with his wife. When I learned that Michael was a composer, I believed that God was answering my prayer. So I asked Michael to consider composing a score for my delivery of Revelation. Even though I had not heard one note of any of his previous compositions, he eagerly accepted my invitation. For 10 months, we worked together on the music. And when the score was completed, the majesty and grandeur of what the project had become was made apparent. the third verse in the first chapter of Revelation. And it says, if you just read the book, you're blessed. And if you don't know how to read, then at least listen to someone that knows how to read. And I thought to myself, I know how to read, and I know how to speak, and perhaps God could, could use my voice and my presentation to, to bring it to the body of Christ first and the world second. Creatures said, Amen. And the elders held out worship. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants what must soon take place. Revelation is the only book in the Bible where there is an outright guarantee of blessing just for reading it. And so it was with this kind of inspiration that I memorized uh, the entire book of Revelation. They fell down on their faces before the throne and worshiped God, saying, Amen. So I earnestly prayed, asking the Lord for a composer to write an original score specifically for my delivery. It was the same week when I received a phone call from Michael Harriton, a man whom I had never met, but who had heard me at a recent conference with his wife. For 10 months, we worked together on the music, and when the score was completed, the majesty and grandeur of what the project had become was made apparent. The whole thing comes to life. There's marvelous sound effects by Academy Award uh, sound designer Frank Serafini. Uh, there's the London Symphony Orchestra, 86-piece orchestra. That's a phenomenal sound. And uh, there's a 40-voice choir of some of Hollywood's finest voices. But it's not a Hollywood show. It's, it's all of the best, all the best that we can offer God. It's excellence wrapped in a package, but it's, it's cloaked in prayer, and it's anointed by His Holy Spirit. Then I looked and heard the voice of many angels, numbering thousands upon thousands and 10,000 times 10,000. They encircled the throne and the living creatures and the elders. In a loud voice they sang, and on earth, and under the earth, and on the sea, and all that is in them, singing to him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be praise and honor and glory and power forever and ever. The four 
living creatures said, Amen. And the elders fell down and worshipped. 